to all of you dance beans out there and everyone else who might be watching welcome 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 to my channel if it's your first time here my name is elena and i'm an adult dancer so i do dance stuff yay this video is going to continue with my bullet journaling for dancers theme let's go with that and I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the month of March where I will show how I incorporate my dancing into my monthly and weekly spreads. Some of these spreads have been heavily inspired by other YouTubers who do bullet journaling on the internet so I will post their channels down below and I will also put a card up there whenever there is a spread that has been heavily inspired by somebody else I will mention it in the voiceover section of this video and I will also put the card up there to the actual video where they create that spread that this has been inspired on so you get the actual reference and you can go and copy them because they did it better than me so you should go and copy them instead <laughs> don't copy me I do not know what I'm doing yet <laughs> As in my previous video, I am using my Archer and Olive notebook. So beautiful. And I will link all of my supplies below. So without further ado, let's get to journaling. Here we go, we are starting with the monthly. I am hand lettering the name of the month, in this case March. And I am using my phone to draw the outline of the month so I don't mess up because I tend to do that. I don't like writing inside my calendar so that's why I'm doing it like this I'm just going to write some symbols around the actual numbers and then the space on the other page is where I will actually write whatever I have to do I'm doing the days of the week with a stamp and then I'm going to color in the frame with a Tombow dual tip brush marker I was going for a monochrome simple theme for this month and I think it looks really pretty in the end. So that's it, that's my monthly finished. Let's move on to the next spread, which are my trackers. These are heavily inspired by a video from YouTube. They are from a woman called Elsa Ray. I hope that's how you pronounce her surname. I'm terrible at this. I'm really sorry. I will link the video down below and I will put a card up in the corner so you can go and check the original video. What I was working on just now will be a little graphic where I track my sleep, mood, stress and anxiety. See, she didn't track anxiety, but I feel it's important to me. And now I'm writing all of the other things that I'm going to track up there. Right now I'm including an exercise tracker, which I think is important to track my dancing. And then moving on to my weekly. This again is heavily inspired by something from YouTube. In this case, the Rolling Weekly by Plant Based Bride. I've mentioned her in my previous bullet journaling video as I said she is incredible I will also link the video where she explains this whole system down below and I will put a card in the corner as well I think she did a very similar theme to this one once I will try to find that actual video but in any case she explains it really well I'm adapting her system and it's not exactly the same for example I'm dividing the weekly part of the page which is the left hand side as you can see is divided in two I use one side to put more weekly plans that are day sensitive so for example my dance classes or my Norwegian classes or my deadlines and then I use the other half to give myself tasks each day and then I write all of my weekly tasks on the right hand side of the page but in any case if you would like to know how exactly I use these spreads as I mentioned in the intro, I am going to create a video specifically explaining that. Here I try to write with a white gel pen on top of the 
black but I absolutely hated it so in the end I ended up writing on top of the white with a silver gel pen and I like that a lot more so I continued with that for the rest of the spread. Of course you can find all of the supplies that I've used in this video in the description box below. So that's my weekly done and now we come to my dance weekly. At the moment I only have two classes a week, dance classes I mean, and this is where I keep track of the things that I do in my dance classes. The decoration is very similar to the previous page with this black band and the silver gel pen on top. Over the black line I'm going to write using a stencil as you can see the day of the week when the dance class is happening and then I'm using fine liners to create several headings for certain things that I want to keep track of. I'm using a green and a red fine liner to write great and meh and that's where I will put something that felt really good or great huh see what I did there in the class that I had that day and something that felt well not so nice something that was really bad or I felt it wasn't as great basically this is not something I did amazing, amazingly but something that felt amazing it wasn't necessarily incredible but it was better than usual or something that usually goes badly went better than usual something that felt great and something that didn't feel so great so I feel like I need to work on and then I have a section for what I learned, which is where I put my ballet corrections that I was giving that day, new exercises that we're learning or anything like that. So here's the final flip through. We have the monthly. As you can see, it's very simple. These are my trackers. I'm sorry for the changing light. The TV was on. So yeah, that's what you're seeing. Really sorry about that. Next, we have the weekly spread. And finally, we have the dance spreads. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, do leave me a comment below and let me know why you liked it. And if you didn't, also please tell me so I can keep improving. I would like to hear any criticism you might have. I have also two more bullet journaling videos coming for now, which is a flip through of my first bullet journal ever. It only went for two months, but still, you know, I'm going to do it. And I also have one more video where I show how my dance spreads actually work and how I incorporate all of my dance around my life in my journal sort of thing. So you will see all of these spreads in action, how I complete them, what I do with them, how they interact with the setup that I did in my previous video. So you can go and check that video out. I will put a card here if you're interested. So there is some interaction and some back and forth going between what I've done today and what I did in the previous video. So you can see how it works and how I... It's very dynamic. <laughs> Just go and check that video when I post it, which is going to be in the next few weeks, I think. It should be. So before my brain tangles even more, I think I'm going to go, so yay! I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye!